There's our rainwater catchment tank. I think it's 1,200 gallons. Comes uh, all the rain off of the roof of the main house. And we're talking about that because I set up my trail camera on the tank to see who's coming and drinking in the night. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Here comes a long-legged customer now. And some friends following him. Let's all get a drink of water out of the big tank. I don't know. Is this safe? Ooh, did I hear a camera click? What was that? Hmm. Well, I'm pretty thirsty. I'm going to chance it. Yeah. These people are so nice to give me a place to drink. Hmm. Hmm, smells a lot like deer around here. Oh my gosh, a lot of them. I'm gonna hop along. A group of sparrows having a community bath. By the way, a group of sparrows is called a host. A host of sparrows. Undoubtedly a married couple of curved billed thrush, and that's him in the bath. Splashing water on her. Hey, stop splashing water on me. You think that's funny, buddy? Stop that. Okay, you're done. Get out of here. Here's a pick in the back of the head for you. That one more time in slow motion to see how mean she is. Hey, get out of here. Ow, 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 that hurt. All day, every day, out my window. Back to the creatures of the night. This is a pack rat. And he's in a wooden tunnel that goes underneath our uh, railroad berm. The old abandoned railroad from the Union Pacific was abandoned in the 1920s, so there's no tracks left, but we have the berm that goes all the way through the property. Here's another tunnel underneath the railroad berm on our property. This is uh, pretty big. I was thinking about making a guest house out of this one. The old Union Pacific Railroad. It uh, goes all the way through our property. That's the house way down there. And I think I should build a tree house in this oak tree. Right up in there, another guest house. What do you think? It's really neat under here. Could be next year's Christmas tree. Here's one of our resident animals on the ranch. El Zaro, the fox. We think there might be two of them. We've got several pictures and we can't tell if it's a different one. We think it is. I left a data strip in this, 35 degrees, 3rd of February, 2024, 2.19 a.m. in the morning. Not everybody sleeps all day and then goes out foraging from midnight to 5 in the morning. There are other nocturnal animals that we're just as happy that they are nocturnal and only come out at night when we're sleeping because we don't want to run into them in the daytime. And you, no, you don't get to go up into my motorhome. Nope. Gamble's quail. There are so many of them around here, they're almost a nuisance. 
there is a season on them, and I think it's quail season. Obviously, these guys didn't hear about it or they'd be hiding. I got this picture off the internet, but I'm thinking about it. There is also a hunting season on Javelina. I'm not thinking about that. Not at all. Even though it'd be really easy to get one, I could even just rope it. There is something I've learned from watching these night camera videos about Javelina, skunk pigs, peccaries. They seem to be very polite animals. Birds are always fighting over things. They're just taking turns and being nice. So if I'm not going to eat skunk pigs, what do I eat? Well, we went to Sierra Vista the other day, and here's where we ate. We stopped for some lunch at 143rd Street Tacos here in Sierra Vista, Arizona. It's not lunchtime, so we shouldn't have any trouble finding a table. Usually this place is jam-packed with people from Fort Huachuca. Today... It's just us. Oh, I didn't have my go camera going. We're gonna, that was, okay, take two. <laughs> Chicken tacos, pico de gallo, salsa mexicana, limon. Third time's the charm. Al Pastor, pork Al tacos, yeah. caliche chicken, not to be confused with Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you have? Cheese quesadilla. Ooh. And chips and salsa. And guac. Yeah. All and right. Yeah. Let's see. And we're on our way to Montezuma Pass for the sunset. Montezuma's Pass is 6,500 feet, so we're about halfway up the mountain. Well, we made it to Montezuma's Pass just in time for the sunset, which is one of the things we're doing up here. We are right down by the Mexican border and you can see the border wall right there's the border wall, that black spot along there, black stripe. So that mountain over there is in Mexico. That's the road we came up. A lot of curves, but uh, good gravel road, not too bad. We think that line of lights over there is the border crossing at Naco, uh, Mexico, into the United States. Beautiful country. Beautiful sunset. This is the pass at Montezuma, the lookout, the radio tower. Peter and Kelsey. me give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next please share me with your friends on social media thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today <laughs>